for over 25 years, this has been the epicenter of sports entertainment. We welcome you tonight to the longest running episodic television show in history. This is Monday Night Raw. I got a feeling we're going to see some serious history made here tonight. And what a lineup on this card, starting with a bang. Singles match on tap next. For Kevin's sake, everyone leaves him alone. Poor Kevin's got the worst luck, is constantly mistreated by general managers on both Raw and SmackDown. You ever stop to think that maybe the fault is Kevin Owens? Maybe it's the fault of the guy looking at him in the mirror? Kevin Owens is the most paranoid superstar I've ever seen. It's always everybody else's fault. It's The Undisputed Era is here. Cole, O'Reilly, and Fish, the most elite superstars in the entire world. And his opponent, accompanied by Bobby Fish, Kyle O'Reilly, and Roderick Strong, representing the Undisputed Era from Panama City, Florida. Weighing in at 205 pounds, Adam Two-time NXT Tag Team Champions have arrived. You talk about the Undisputed Era. You're looking at a collection of some of the most successful internationally traveled superstars in all of sports entertainment. And now you add Roddy Strong to the mix, and they are as dominant as ever. Undisputed Era may just be unstoppable. There's always a question if you've achieved 
worldly success in sports entertainment prior to And here he is, the former NXT and oh, WWE man. Intercontinental Champion, Kevin Owens. Let's see what he's got. Look at the presumptuous attitude of Kevin Owens. It's called confidence, Saxton, and all the elite superstars have it. You have to walk in believing you're going to beat up your opponent. Down! It's an Oku driver! Guys, I see Kevin Owens as that person at the office who does half the work but still gets promoted. He's the bully at school nobody likes who still gets the gold star. Everybody's got a Kevin Owens in their life. It's just unfortunate for the WWE Universe that the Kevin Owens in their lives is Kevin Owens. Unfortunately, Byron, life's not fair. It's not Kevin Owens' fault you never deserved a gold star. Pick it up on your analogy about Kevin Owens, Byron. The WWE Universe has had to incur so many tangents from Owens and countless disruptions to WWE programming because Owens finds the need to act like a petulant child. You guys give me grief whenever I do some name-calling, and now here you are throwing mud all over Kevin Owens. I wish we were in Marieville, Quebec right now because they know KO is a national treasure. He's a guy that can turn it on whenever he wants. Ouch. There's one thing you can count on from Adam Cole. It's that he's always looking for a shortcut. In fact, the leader of the Undisputed Era never met a shortcut he didn't like. There you go again with one of your theories. Does it ever end with you? Adam Cole possesses incredible ring awareness. It's a natural gift that should be celebrated. Unleash is the backdrop with a vengeance. I brought up Adam Cole's rule-breaking ways earlier and want to reiterate the fact that when Adam Cole is trying to bring down an opponent, he will bend any rule possible if it means he has the advantage. Everyone in NXT wants Kevin Owens putting together here. Uh-oh, he's in trouble here. Spectacular. This might be the opportunity. You gotta think about using the finisher here pretty soon, I would think. Just pick up the win and move on. There's no need to keep this thing going longer than necessary. He may have discovered his favorite move. When this guy's on, look out. Good point by Byron earlier. If there's an opening to execute the finisher, you got to take it. The last thing you want to do is let your opponent hang around for no reason. I can tell you bad things happen when you do that. If you don't believe me, just go back and watch Skip versus Barry Horowitz from 1995. He's looking for the win. And the shoulder's up in time. Uh-uh. And set him up oh, for the knee of his. That's going to hurt. No, he reverses it. Drop kick. We may very well be seeing the finisher here very shortly, guys. And when that happens, he's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Kevin Owens is in position. Oh, God, man. Right on the back of the neck. No doubt about that one. There may be no coming back from that slam, Cole. Calls the pin off with a rope break. And you can see that Owens is looking overwhelmed. Looks to me like he just hit a wall. I know he doesn't have any quit in him, but now might be one of those times where you take the loss and live to fight another day. He's in tough shape, guys, and there's absolutely no room for error now. Oh, he turns it around. Owens might want to be careful here. Doesn't want to get ahead of himself. Not where he wants to be right now. Hey, he got himself into this mess. Well, he's got to get himself out of it now. Kevin Owens is looking to end this right now. What's he doing? 
He's not going to like this. And he'll be feeling the effects of that for a while. That he's inflicting some serious pain here. Game, set, match. This one is over. That match deserves another look, folks. I can watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. This entire match was just one big highlight reel, and I didn't expect anything else. Here is your winner, Adam Cole. Kicking off the night with an impressive victory. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action. Going to be hard getting into the arena with an eagle that big. A fine line between being confident and being an egomaniac.
couldn't have said it better myself. The ante has officially been raised here. Well, I'm not sure if we can top that, but we will do our best as we move along with our program. The next match has all the makings of a great one. Stay right where you are, people. <laughs> what day is today? That's right, you sing it loud and proud, ladies and gentlemen, today is... All the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 519 pounds, the World Tag Team Champion, Aiden English and Rusev. Top guy time. And their opponent, at a combined weight of 400. No flips firing, just this. Tag team specialists. There may not be a better team in all of WWE right now than Dawson and Wilder. Great tag teams are on the same page. These two are in the same syllable. Like you and I, Corey. What about me? What about you? Aiden oh, English, man. here's the bell, ready for action. And I can't help but get the man. feeling that this is going to be one of those matches people will be talking about for a long time to come. What 
says Mitchell and Gutierrez. Absolutely planted. This is a tough spot to find yourself in, that's for sure. But if anybody could break free from this, it's this superstar right here. That's why he hit the spot. There's no way he could have avoided that blow. The mighty Rusev looking a bit surprised by this assault. But he's not appearing too worse for wear. At least nice. not yet, anyway. He seemed more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in him. He's looking banged up here, guys. And it looks like things are about to get even worse. Aiden English is starting to slow here. And it's so hard to create space for yourself. The accolades locked in. Big opportunity here. Things look dire for Dash Wilder. Not looking good, Byron. Looking for an opening for that finisher, it seems. And that's a smart move. Just hit the finisher, get the win, and get out of there. the cover this guy's a competitor he's not going down yet too soon anytime a superstar sees an opening for their finisher they got to take it as byron was saying elongating the match not only gives your opponent an opportunity to get back in it but you're also running the risk of injury anytime you're in the ring longer than you have to be yeah but sometimes you just enjoy beating somebody up especially if you're in the ring with somebody like saxton uh -oh. oh my goodness crushing it this could do it Rusev quickly getting the shoulder up. Ah, uh ah. -uh. His signature slam. Looks like Aiden English is starting to fatigue here. Looks to me like he's starting to feel the pressure, guys. This is where we find out who the better man is. And at this point, it could very well be either one of these guys. That's how close this is. Rusev with a running super kick. That's what he was looking for, Michael. And Rusev makes the cover. Look at this. He's going back to an old friend with that one. Oh, boy, he is rolling. I don't know where he gets the energy, but it seems... End that's it. That's got to be it. I mean, who said now? That's a finishing move, people. Looks like the end of the line for Wilder. It just went from bad to worse for Dash Wilder. Oh, the arm's trapped. Oh, and a slam. Here's a couple. We may very well be seeing the finisher here very shortly, guys. And when that happens, you can bet this one's going to be over. Dawson pops the shoulder up. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Whoa. Aiden English able to avoid damage. Hits him with the uppercut. Boom. Dawson takes out the knee. Just as ruthless as the first time we saw it. And he releases. And he breaks free. Just when you thought he was out of this one. He's making a statement here with this attack. And here's a cover. And he got a near fall out of it. Nice kick out. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. On he dodges out of the way. In front of so you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. It's locked in. They tapped. They tapped. That match might go down as one of the best matches in WWE history.
Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic. Here are your winners. Don't change that channel. We have singles action coming up. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date. These superstars have waited for this moment for a while. Now it's go time. He's here! Making his way to the ring from Capitol Hill, Washington, D.C., weighing in at 227 pounds, the Retain Dream. Intoxicating, mesmerizing. Guys, here is a man who is going to be a true superstar in our business. He has it all. In-ring skill. He's got... Well, guys, the referee should have it relatively easy here tonight because, as you know, in a false count anywhere match, anything goes. Slam down with authority. Hard to argue your take on this match, Michael. When there are no rules to enforce, the official's sole responsibility in a match like this is to simply declare the victor. Yeah, the referee may only have one job, but I'm still willing to bet he finds a way to mess it up. As we've seen countless times over the years, superstars oftentimes 
try to make a statement with their entrance. And I think it's safe to say that Velveteen Dream did just that, Byron, at NXT TakeOver Philadelphia. Yeah, and leave it to Velveteen Dream to bring out an entourage prior to one of the biggest matches of his career. He wants no part of the outside. Dream just barely got out of the way. Elaborate a little more on Velveteen Dream's takeover Philadelphia entrance you guys mentioned. For me, the best part was watching Dream have his customized mouth guard inserted by a member of said entourage. Yeah, that mouth guard was on a feather bed pillow, mind you. And he wore fancy airbrushed boxing trunks to the ring that said, Dream Over. And that night, he was standing tall over his opponent, Cassius Ono. Guys, at the risk of sounding like an amateur psychologist, it seems pretty clear that Velveteen Dream absolutely thrives on attention. Nah, don't worry, you just sound like an amateur commentator. Oh, he's such a tough target. A back suplex. I agree with Byron's statement that Velveteen Dream is an attention seeker. I mean, why else wear all the frilled shirts and jeweled outfits? Hmm, why else? How about because he's a fashion icon? Anyway, the only thing that matters is what you do in the ring. And let me tell you, Velveteen Dream can do pretty much anything. As we've seen countless times over the years, superstars oftentimes try to make a statement with their entrance. And I think it's safe to say that Velveteen Dream did just that, Byron, at NXT TakeOver Philadelphia. Yeah, and leave it to Velveteen Dream to bring out an entourage prior to one of the biggest matches of his career. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. To elaborate a little more on Velveteen Dream's takeover Philadelphia entrance you guys mentioned. For me, the best part was watching Dream have his customized mouth guard inserted by a member of said entourage. Yeah, that mouth guard was on a feather bed pillow, mind you. And he wore fancy airbrushed boxing trunks to the ring that said, Dream Over. And that night, he was standing tall over his opponent, Cassius Ono. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Unleashing it for the second time now. When it comes to falls counting, the end may be near. Death Valley bomb. Here's his chance to win this. Oh, man, Dolph Ziggler really needs to dig down deep. He hits a huge elbow drop. That should do it. Oh, man, Dolph Ziggler really... He goes for the cover. There's the pinfall. And the victory. We got our money's worth with that one. Take a look. Count yourselves lucky, people. You might watch WWE for years and only see a match that good a few times. Epic. Here is your winner, Velveteen Dream. Extremely impressive win, guys. To get the pinfall victory over such a high-quality opponent is incredibly impressive, Michael. And that'll do it here for this one-on-one -on -one match. I hope you enjoyed it as much as this live crowd appears to have enjoyed it.
making his way to the ring. Ah, they say class. Alistair Black. What amazes me about Alistair Black is his ability Alistair to maintain Black. complete composure before competing inside that ring, almost embracing the calm before the storm. Byron, I heard rumors that you may make the list. No, 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 don't say that. Don't give Chris Jericho any ideas. Intercontinental champion nine times, which is a record. And there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. The constant reinvention of Chris Jericho has been what's kept him as one of WWE's most enduring superstars. I get it. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to kiss up the Y2J, Saxton. But the fact is, your name's on the list of Jericho in permanent ink. I thought it was just a rumor. to the ring. Now watch this. Jericho is struggling a bit. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected especially considering who he's in the ring with. This match is so evenly contested right now that it's almost impossible to pick a winner. I guess we'll just have to settle in and enjoy the action. See how much air he got on that. Aleister Black appearing uneasy here. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment tonight. You don't step in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense Ooh. here tonight. He just has to make sure he keeps it to a minimum. Black able to avoid damage there. He can turn it on in a hurry. He's got it. Walls of Jericho locked in. Can he finish the job? How do you do that? I don't know, Michael, but good thing. I don't think he could have taken much more of that. Oh, to the back of the neck. Alistair Black setting it up. 
One move after the other. It's devastating. Oh, it's over. And Aleister Black might have just secured the victory. Aleister Black. Aleister Black just almost knocked him out. Ouch. His shoulders are down. Never say die attitude out of him. Nope. To beat the Ayatollah of rock and roll up, that's not going to do it. Seems to me, guys, like we're just moments away from seeing the finisher, which could obviously put this match on ice. These guys giving this sold-out crowd exactly what they came to see. What an incredible match. And he escapes the submission. And good thing, that could have been disastrous. Drop down. Nice. Whoa, Jericho able to avoid damage. What a cagey maneuver. He took an incredible pounding there. Here's Chris Cole Breaker. That was nasty. That might just be the final nail in the coffin. I really can't. He can end it here. He got him. One, two. No, he kicks out. Nicely done. Yeah, it's going to take more than that to keep him down. He's making a statement here with this attack. Takes him out with a flapjack. He's got him covered. And he got a near fall out of it. He needs to change something fast, guys. Aleister Black has taken a lot of damage. I'm not sure how much more he can take. He may very well be on Dream Street right now, guys. He has got to fight back. For a while there, it looked like he was going to take this match. It's amazing how quickly things can change here in the WWE. We can turn it on in a hurry. Here's Chris Jericho. Lion salt. Come on. Here's the cover. Two. Well, that was a close call. The devil on his back must have helped Black kick out there. There may be no coming back from this incredible beatdown. Wow, he escapes it. He's just got no quit in him here tonight, Cole. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. Wow, Aleister Black able to avoid damage there. I can't believe this one's still going on, especially after the beating that's been... Oh, Black brings the pain! Oh, 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 man. That's a good way to find yourself on the list of Jericho. This night... Black Mass! That's a good way to find yourself... We got a cover. One, two, three! Aleister Black wins. And here's another look at some incredible action from a match that we're not likely to stop talking about for a long, long time. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Here is your winner, Elster.
The baddest woman on the planet is here. There is only one. Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Making her way to the ring from Venice Beach, California, the baddest woman on the planet, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey's got her game face locked. She is... Back where she made her name in WWE on Raw. Here's and Ivory. her opponent from Seattle, Washington, Ivory. Ivory incredibly comfortable in high-pressure situations, has won women's championship matches multiple times over her illustrious career. I miss when Ivory was part of Right to Censor. Of course she did. They had a good message. You know, I once spent 12 straight hours on the air with Ivory, part of a program called WrestleMania all day long. You know, to this point in his life, Byron never spent 12 hours cumulatively with a woman. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle. One-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. And guys, I'm pretty sure I can watch these women compete each and every week. Oh. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. Ivory's starting to slow down a bit, but you certainly cannot count her out yet. If you're worried about her now, you haven't seen many of her matches. She can withstand so much more punishment than this. Well, there's still plenty of matches to go here, guys. Unless something crazy happens, I don't envision this being the end of the road for her. And she delivers a punishing atomic drop. She's starting to feel it. She doesn't appear too concerned, however. You know, she's the kind of competitor that actually oh, likes getting hit. It motivates her. And this might just be what she needs. Whoa, impressive. You can say that again. I never thought she'd break free from that one. On the shoulders here. And it could be a long way down from there. Crashing to the canvas like that can tear muscles and break bones. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Ah, the reversal by Ivory. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. Big reversal for her there. What's Ivory putting together here? Ronda Rousey got out of there in time. This is all but over. Perfectly executed, guys. And she lets her free. But the damage was certainly done, Michael. Well, many are clearly happy with this week's power rankings as Byron was once Ivory putting together here. Right to the face. Can't waste any time here. Oh, man, Ronda, will this be enough? She's not going away yet. She's still in this one.
You got to think about using the finisher here pretty soon, I would think. Just pick up the win and come on, this isn't fair. Life's not fair, Cole. Get over it. And an early kick out. It's way too early. Who do you think Ivory needs to focus on right now? She's starting to feel the pressure here, fellas. It looks to me, guys, like she may have underestimated her opponent here tonight. And now she's paying for it. And this might very well be the turning point of this match. Unless, of course, well, she wants this win bad. Nice. Shut it. Get out of her way. She ain't playing. Good point by Byron earlier. If there's an opening to execute. Ronda Rousey's done playing. Ronda Rousey. This is all but over. Will she win it here? Too close for cover. Not yet. Lands a pretty stiff kick. Ronda Rousey's done playing. Ronda Rousey, this is all but over. She's back in full control now. She's not playing any games tonight. Everyone better watch out. Even me. This one's over, guys. Ronda Rousey needs to capitalize on this opportunity. Nope, she releases it. Well, that decision may very well come back to haunt her, Cole. Taking on any more damage here could very well mean the beginning of the end. I really can't believe what's gone down so far. This match has been even more physical than I thought it would be. Crushing blow. And will this be it? One. Ronda Rousey kicks out of the pin early. Not yet. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. Yeah, he's able to tap into an energy source few others can. Her down. She can. That should do it right there. Two, three. The cover. And this one's history. What a win. Now let's take another look at these wonderful women in action. When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. Impressive victory for her here tonight. That's a big win right there. Anytime you can pin another WWE competitor's shoulders to the mat for the three count. The following contest is the Royal Rumble match. Now, the two superstars that drew number one and number two will start in the ring at the
the same time. Other superstars will join in in the order that they drew. This will continue until all 30 superstars. Oh, this should be good. And from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at Woo! 245 pounds, Jason Jordan. This young man here is an incredible talent. And from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 200 pounds, Roderick Strong. A man who has once seen it. And this is how you start a Royal Rumble match. Well, the luck of the draw certainly wasn't kind to these two competitors. Oh. Get ready! Boom! Oh, what a drop kick on the mark. And now here's Mojo Raleigh. Surprise right now. Hey, if he can't handle a little punishment here and there, maybe he has no business being in the Royal Rumble match. I know it's early, but he has to do everything in his power and not to let this get out of hand. Things are about to heat up here, guys. I wouldn't want to be in the ring now, that's for sure. What's coming next? Trying for the elimination here. The 2017 no, and that's the elimination right there, guys. With an exclamation point, no less. No luck making the elimination there. You're going to need more than luck to get this superstar over the top rope. And now it's Kevin Owens. Driven back down to the mat with unbelievable power. At the 2017 Royal Rumble, Byron, you spoke about this before. It was another impressive display by the WWE superstars who would stop at nothing to win the Royal Rumble and punch their tickets to WrestleMania. Of the this will be number six. Just go for the finisher already. I don't understand the delay. The object is to win the match, isn't it? Come on, let's go. Quick thinking to avoid that one. Kevin, we are up to seven already? Lightning fast reflexes. Jason Jordan just too fast for him. Wow. This shakes things up a bit, to say the least. As Corey continues to criticize the action of the ring, allowing me to take the other side of the argument. The last thing any superstar wants to do is go for the finisher prematurely. No good can come of that. Yeah, you really want to wait for the exact right time. If you go for it and miss, that could be the momentum shift your opponent has been waiting for. Looks to make an elimination here. Wilder got out of there. Roger Number Strong eight's about to get eliminated. 
Jason Jordan getting pushed to the limits here. He came into this match looking for a fight, and it looks like he found one. Claiming to be the superstar WWE should value the most. Kevin Owens sure feels as if he gets unfair treatment. Hey, don't look for sympathy from me. Owens sets his own table, digs those holes he finds himself in. There's the elimination cord. What took him so long? Kevin Owens getting pushed oh, to the limits here. And at this point, you have to wonder if he can recover from this. Give him credit, guys. He's not giving up. And with so much on the line, that's exactly the attitude you have. We're about to find out who enters next. Heading to the ring with a purpose. Boy, that's the truth. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal for him. A quick reversal by Kevin Owens. Look at that tremendous ring presence. Very impressive. The 2016 Royal Rumble match had quite a unique stipulation. Listen to this crowd count the next one in. Getting his attention with a vicious strike. Dash Wilder is in serious trouble. Is there anything that can be done? to get back to being a threat. And at this point, how much more does he have to give? Hey, John Cena's heading this way. Million dollar man starting to stammer some. Looks like he may have let his guard down there for a moment and it tossed him. The good news for him is, oh, right across the knee. He can end it here. This is exactly what Kevin Owens was waiting for. Looks like we, here comes the workhorse, guys. History tells us they'll spend the most time in there only to come up short. John Cena has been eliminated. Wow, they got out of there just in time. Barely. When this guy's on, Oof. look out. And in comes Roman Reigns. This is going to get ugly quick. Looking for an opening to that finisher, it seems, and that's a smart move. Just hit the finisher, get the win, and get out of there. He's too quick for him there. Here we go, guys. Elimination coming up. Guys, it's almost time for our next competitor. Oh, a shit breaker. It's going to be hard to walk. Oh, oh, there's the elimination. Oh, he is rolling. And here goes Goldust. Anytime a superstar sees an opening for their finisher, they got to take it, as Byron was saying. Elongating the match not only gives your opponent an opportunity to get back in it, but you're also running the risk of injury anytime you're in the ring longer than you have to be. Yeah, but sometimes you just enjoy beating somebody up. Especially if you're in the ring with somebody like Saxton. Bad spot for him to be in here, guys. You gotta do something to get back in this thing. Wilder's up. We're about to get to the one. Boom. Nasty backbreak. Victory is on the horizon. Can that beat Kurt Hawkins? You gotta think about using the finisher here pretty soon, I would think. Just pick up the win and move on. There's no need to keep this thing going longer than necessary. Wilder's looking to finish this. This adds a whole new dimension to this match, guys. Oh, oh my so God! It drop it to the it. outside. Look out! A possible elimination coming up. And look at that sickening thud as his body is driven to the mat. Good point by Byron earlier. If there's an open, That's there's the elimination for him. What took him so long? Determined as ever. Up and over. No doubt about that neck breaker. Number 15 incoming, boys. Whoa, Ted DiBiase dodged that one. Ball dust has been eliminated. And Jeff Hardy's out next. No reverses it. Oh, and an excruciatingly painful face buster. 
Million Dollar Man in bad shape right now. This is clearly not the same competitor who started this match in such great shape. I think I can safely speak for all of us when I say that this beating he's taking is pretty tough. Who will enter it number 16, B? Byron, given how lethal the Million Dollar Dream is, I would have to think priority number one when facing Ted DiBiase is a pretty good move. Oh, I agree with that, Michael, but that's easier said than done. Some of WWE's biggest names have tried and failed to avoid the Million Dollar Dream. And good shoulder right to the midsection. He's in control. He has something big planned. He's in big trouble. Looking for the elimination. Man, I can't wait to see who number 17's gonna be. What's the huge elimination right there? Incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. We know that music can only mean one man. It's Fandango. The 2014 Royal Rumble match has so many rivalries, debuts, and streaks all in one that made for an exciting night in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The match saw Kane make his 15th consecutive appearance in the Royal Rumble match. And the who's it gonna be? Look out, this changes things big time. A fresh superstar usually does, Cole. Nice job getting out of trouble there. Talk about a great escape. see Jeff Hardy. Boy, the time just flies, doesn't it? And the instinct from Fish on display. So quick. Nobody ever accused Fandango of being shot. You better be careful here. This guy has what it takes to make major impact here. Yeah, you have to expect to make some noise here tonight. A surprise reversal from Jeff Hardy. Yeah, beautiful. He's starting to show signs of fatigue. He's really going to need to create some space for himself. Yeah, but of the guys in the ring right now, he's just as capable as any of winning this thing and going on to WrestleMania. Yeah, but if you... Here we go. Look at this. There's absolutely no wasted motion in this attack. Now that's a display of excellent ring awareness. Nicely done. That's how you use the ropes to your advantage. Look me out here, guys. And he looks super motivated. Spin kick to the midsection. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. What's he gonna do with it? Forearm right to the jaw. Stunned him. A nice shot by Fandango. Oh boy, he is rolling. We may very well be seeing the finisher here. It's gonna be 21. This is getting interesting. And the instinct, and that's elimination right there, guys. With an exclamation point, no less. Oh boy, he is rolling. Hey, Sami Zayn is heading this way. That could have been disastrous, Byron. No doubt. In fact, I'm a little surprised we didn't see an elimination. There's the elimination, Byron. That was amazing. I'm with Corey. I suspect the finisher is on the horizon. Oof. How impactful that move has been as of late. There's the elimination, Byron. That was amazing. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Jeff Hardy was able to get out of the way there. And there's his speed paying off. Uh-oh. He's looking a little off balance. I don't think this is how he envisioned this match going here. Seems to me, guys, like we're just moments away from seeing the finisher, which could obviously put this match on ice. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Oh, drop kick. Could be trouble here, guys. Oh, what a great escape. Wow, I cannot believe it, Michael. Just a frightening face buster. He's in a little bit of trouble now. The finisher could absolutely. There's the elimination, Byron. That was amazing. Number 22 up next to the rumble. These are prime spots. Sami Zayn likes his chances here. Aiden English designed his way in. 
He delivers a hard close line. There's the elimination for him. It took him so long. This could spell trouble, Corey, without a doubt. In fact, I'll be surprised if this doesn't lead to an elimination. Just go for the finisher already. I don't understand the delay. The object is to win the big time moment as we await entry 23. This could be the winning number. Oh my God. Oh, there's the breaker. Here comes Aleister Black. As Corey continues to criticize the action in the ring, allow me to take the other side of the argument. The last thing any superstar wants to do is go for the finisher prematurely. No good can come of that. Yeah, you really want to wait for the exact right time. If you go for it and miss, that could be the momentum shift your opponent has been waiting for. Got the reverse. Number 24 has a good chance of winning this, guys. I know, that's why 24 is my pick. We may have discovered his and that's elimination right there, guys. With an exclamation point, no less. Gets him with the fist. I've got to say, I'm really impressed with the evolution of Aiden English. For a while, it appeared as though he might be pegged as a tag team specialist, but he's since proven that he can also go on his own. Look out, a possible elimination coming up. Guys, critical moment here, number 25. Who's it going to be? As Michael alluded to, Aiden English was great as one half of the Vought villains. The duo even captured the NXT Tag Team titles. But English has proven that there is more to him than just time. Gano's looking to end it. Byron, look who we have here. The town. I knew it was only a matter of time. Yeah, you don't want to get dropped like that. That's for sure. which could obviously put this match on ice. And now Jericho and Paul. Yeah, look at the quickness of Razor. Man, that big shouldn't move that fast. And here's Jericho trying to work some Jedi mind tricks. Jerry Barbaro has been Come on, right in the jaw. Oh, what a shot. Attacking the head now. Here we go, guys. So if you're a betting man like me, this is the one to put your money on. I agree with you, Corey. You're always right. Dodges trouble there. You got that right, Michael. That had elimination written all over it. Here comes Slater. This is not the person you want to see making his way to the ring. And a scoop slam. You got to think about using the finisher here pretty soon, I would think. Just pick up the win and move on. There's no need to keep this thing going longer than necessary. Who's it gonna be, fellas? Reverses that one. When this guy there's the elimination. Aaron Corbin making a move. His clothesline finds them. There's the elimination, finally. That was amazing. Nicely timed shot by Baron Corbin. The legs taken out by the Russian leg sweep. He's there's the elimination Byron. That was amazing. Could very well get dumped out here. A compromising position to be in during a match. Who's 29 gonna be? You should know this by now, Byron. There's the elimination Byron. That was amazing. Uh, it's AJ Styles. We may very well be seeing the finisher here very shortly, guys. And when that happens, you can bet this one's going to be over. Flattens him with a clothesline. He delivers a hard clothesline. Next entrance getting ready to come out. I'm with Corey. I suspect the finisher is on the horizon. Given how impactful that move has been as of late, I'd say there's almost no coming back from it. You're right, Michael. It seems like that finisher has become more and more impactful with each passing week. But that's even possible. That's Goldberg! Spin 
awesome kick to the midsection. Looks like we might get an elimination, guys. AJ Styles is setting it up. You never count AJ Styles out, but his few losses of note are coming from bigger Chris opponents who counted Styles. Eliminated. And there's the elimination. A clubbing blow. Uh-oh, he's got him set up here. Looking for the suplex. Neck breaker. Come with a big boot. On the mark. To your point, Corey, I can think of another time strength stopped the phenomenal one. When John Cena rolled from an attitude adjustment into a second AA to win their classic match at the Alamo Dome. And you can't forget AJ's match against Brock Lesnar. Styles survived Suplex City, but fell to an F5. Beating Styles requires a lot of power and even more luck. When you look at this, simply amazing. It looks like they both did their homework heading into this one. Well, this is the way it's supposed to be, gentlemen. We're looking at three of the biggest stars in all of WWE right now competing for a spot in the main event of WrestleMania. This one reminds me a lot of 2011 when the Royal Rumble match came down to Edge, John Cena, and Batista. Here we go, guys. One of these three superstars is going to go on to headline WrestleMania. Unless, of course, something unexpected happens. After all, the road to WrestleMania is long and winding. Following up on your earlier point, Michael, nobody knows how long the road to WrestleMania is better than Stone Cold Steve Austin. After winning the 1997 Royal Rumble match, Stone Cold seemed to be a lock for the main event of WrestleMania. But because of the controversial ending to the Rumble match, Austin never got that opportunity. But what he did get was a match with Bret Hart at that year's WrestleMania. And all these years later, people are still calling it one of the greatest matches in WrestleMania history. The final moments of the 2011 Royal Rumble match certainly was star-studded, as Corey mentioned. In the end, it was Edge's last eliminating John Cena to walk away with the victory. And as a result, Edge went on to challenge Chris Jericho for the World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania 26. Unfortunately for Edge, though, Y2J was able to fend off the rated R superstar and retain his title. Well, this is the way it's supposed to be, gentlemen. We're looking at three of the biggest stars in all of WWE right now competing for a spot in the... AJ Styles is getting ready. The final moments of the 2011 Royal Rumble match certainly was star-studded, as Corey mentioned. This could be the beginning of the end. Goldberg down with the jackhammer. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. Oh, man, AJ Styles is in trouble. Goldberg is looking golden right now. He's not in a good spot here, guys. He simply needs to find a way to regroup. Remember, both feet must touch the floor once in order to be eliminated from this Royal Rumble match. Go, go for the spear! Is it enough to end this match? Going for an encore here. AJ Styles has taken a lot of damage. I'm not sure how much he has left in the tank. I wouldn't be surprised if he just passes out right here. Oh, man, AJ Styles may be wishing he was back in Japan around now. Styles will rally. Relax. This has been a battle. And gets out of harm's way. Oh, boy, that could have been bad, Michael. Oh boy, he is rolling. And once again, we see a re Corbin that's elimination. Eliminated. Straighten him up, got the head scissors on, sharp elbow. Goldberg is going to have that fast here to stay in this. If anybody can do it, Goldberg can. You have to wonder how much longer he can go on like this. Goldberg needs to tap into his trademark intensity and mount a comeback as soon as possible. Looks to make an elimination here.
Judging from this reaction, I don't think the crowd was anticipating these superstars being the final three competitors in the Royal Rumble match. Goldberg doing a great job of turning that around. Look out, down he goes. And he might not get back up. Goldberg is looking golden right now. Eludes that one. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. Trying for the elimination here. A There's the elimination for you. Yes! Unreal performance. Let's take another look at these guys in action. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic. Here is your winner. There's your winner, folks. The last competitor standing. Very nicely done. Jerome Garrett, like we just saw here tonight, is a...